Hi, I'm Emily with Camper Paradise. It's one of those Sprinter vans that we've been working on probably three quarters of the way through it. So let's do a, a walkthrough and show you guys what's going on. Back here, we're using our two traditional cabinets from our Saga line. We have the electrical install happening right here. We got Van Life Tech install for our heat, pulp and storage here and here, and then making our way to the front of the van. So what we did was we're using this space in between their kitchen and their bedroom to create a dinette. They're gonna have a, a table top here. That table top is gonna be able to drop down and become the surface for this bed system. Perfect sleeping area. Uh, for their kid when it's not in use as a dining table. It also has a lot of storage built into here. Storage. <laughs> storage. Moving back, we got their kitchen area. Here we have our typical Saga sink cabinet. Flush mount sink here. And then across from it, their fridge cabinet. Typically, we put these cabinets side by side, but because of their dinette here, we're putting them across from each other. They are modular. They can be used in the traditional sense, how we have been typically using them right here, or you can get creative and play with it as these people did. Here, we built a um, custom cabinet. This is where they want to house hanging clothes, as well as they have a drawer here for their utensils and things. So this kind of is gonna house some of their kitchen items that would normally go in that drawer box. And then if we move up top to the front of the van, we're making this awesome custom shower. So the shower is recessed into the floor built like right on top of the uh, metal floor of the van, which is awesome. So it gives you as much headspace as possible and we will be putting in a awesome teak shower grate to be able to stand on in here. So look at how much space I have. The system that we're using for the shower curtain up here opens up like this. So really my shower is this big. It's awesome. I have a lot of space. They're also gonna put a toilet right here that can be removed when you're taking a shower or you can keep it in place if you want. This is an awesome bathroom shower. I'm really excited to see it finished. Um, one of the last things that we're gonna be doing in this van is a wood ceiling. Right now, we have this like sub ceiling. It's a quarter inch Baltic that we're going to be using to put up our ceiling boards. They're gonna have a little bit of a gap between where you're just gonna see this black space. Um, this is the first time that we've done that in-house in a van and we're super excited for it. That's going to go in last once we have everything that touches the ceiling. In. Chance, you want to come talk about the electrical? Yeah, let's take a peek. So Hayden just wrapped up this install in here. Uh, you can take a, a look at. We're almost ready to turn it on. We're just waiting on our uh, Nation's alternator and our Wixpeed 500 to finish the install. You can see in here, we've got three of our 48 volt CAN bus batteries, rack mount style, super clean, really easy to add more. We can fit up to four in here, which would be just under 10 kilowatt hours of storage. Right now we're at 7.2 kilowatt hours or about 600 amp hours at 12 volt. Um, so a lot of capacity. And with our alternator, we're gonna be able to recharge those really quick, zero to hundred percent in about two hours. So that's pretty slick. We got our Victron 120 solar controller that can handle up to a thousand watts of solar. Um, so it can do a lot heavier lifting with a smaller component. 48 volt, smaller parts, less money, uh, more compact install. Um, so yeah, really excited to fire this guy up here. Quattro 3000 in here at 48 volts. So this will do 2,400 watts continuous and surge up to 5,500 watts. So it'll be able to power everything in here, including the air conditioning. I'd say six hours of runtime without any engines, just on battery capacity. Yeah, the big one in here is gonna be the Nation's alternator. Um, it's a brand new product coming out, 48 volt alternator. Uh, it can do up to 100 amps at 48 volts. So that's 
five kilowatts of charge current. As a comparison, their 24 volt alternator could do 150 amps. You would consistently see right around 2,500 watts of charge current with that 24 volt alternator. So we're doing double the charge current with this 48 volt. Uh, so pretty cool. So with these CAN bus batteries, um, you can see they're linked together with RJ45 cables and they go directly to our servo. And the master battery right here dictates all the charging through the whole system, including our wake speed 500. So the battery controls the charge values so we can charge at a higher rate safely and throttle back is when the batteries start to get full. Cool, I'm gonna jump out of here so these guys can finish putting this thing together. Um, We'll have another video with a follow-up here in a few weeks. We're excited to get this thing done.